La Paz is a colorful city, as are most cities in Mexico. La Paz has a variety of diverse and vibrant murals in various locations throughout the city, and tourist guides almost always include them in their tours. But it's not just murals that make La Paz so colorful. It's stores, houses, panga boats, blankets, souvenirs, and people. Not all colorful people want to appear in a video if you catch the meaning of my drift. Orange is a bright and cheerful color, but has different meanings to different people. Some good, some not. What goes on here? Do people just get in the mood for a gallon of paint and pop into the local Comex store, like a gallon of chartreuse and a six pack of Corona? Mexicans like color, and Mexico is colorful. I don't think it is an accident that every Mexican town I have seen has their name in 3D colorful signage somewhere visible to visitors. Color is integral to Mexican culture. Sometimes it clashes, but still works. A corrugated sheet of metal comes alive with a simple lick of vibrant color. Not everyone who brings color to La Paz may be familiar with the Benham color wheel, but it doesn't matter. Somehow it all works. And most of the color here is vibrant, like the culture, like the people. This year, I extended my temporary residency permit for three years. After that, I'm eligible for a permanent residency, and a year after that, I can apply for citizenship. Just for interest's sake, my name has an interesting Spanish translation. William is Guillermo, and Lower is Baja. Can you think of a better Mexican name? Guillermo Baja. Sounds colorful, doesn't it?